Hello everyone, it's daytime. I'm Buster the Fox, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So before I get started here, I just want to mention, uh, last episode I said something about um, finding some awesome stuff while exploring, and I did find some awesome stuff. And I figure I ought to show you, because it's going to be part of what I'm going to do with today's episode. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that footage real quick, and I'll be right back, okay? Enjoy. I right uh, way over here on the map, and I found another ocean monument. Oh my goodness, I gotta get a good look at this. Let's see. I think they all look the same, don't they? I want to see a guardian though. Guardian. Oh, there's one. I see him right up there. Ah, uh, I found another ocean monument. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, everyone. Do you see that off in the distance? Do you see that? I just finished recording the clip. Look, look how close we are. I just finished recording that clip of the, uh, the ocean monument I found. And look over there. There's another desert village! Oh man, why am I not using my bow? Look, everybody! Look, look over here. Look, these two are butchers, but this one, this one doesn't have the white. And, oh, and these are potatoes! Oh, this has been a good day. Oh my word, you guys. Look where we are on the map. I found a third. <laughs> a third, I tell you. Ocean Monument. I'm coming back here with the F3 screen open so I can record the general position of the place so that I can find it next time. Looks like we're about 1,500 blocks out, so it's pretty decently far. I think that's an ocean monument, isn't it? I can see the light coming out. Isn't it? It doesn't really look like one, though. Okay, this isn't a monument. Wait, that sound. Dude! Dude! <laughs> Dude! No way! Okay, stop. No. Ah. Okay, let me in. Oh. Wow. You've got to be kidding. Look! <laughs> I found a freaking stronghold. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Is it? Is there more underneath me or something? Doesn't look like it. Oh, look, crack, wait, cracked stone brick right there. Is there more? Looks like there's more. Oh, oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, right here. Okay, coordinates. There's the coordinates. Alright, so that was pretty exciting, huh? Found a lot of crap. <laughs> uh, but, now that we've shown you what I found, we're going to go down back to the uh, end portal room here because I am going to turn this into an XP farm. What do you mean, Buster? An XP farm out of an end portal? Now, don't get ahead of yourself here. I'm going to use the um, silverfish spawner. So, let me in. I'm going to use this here silverfish spawner. I'm going to kill them all. As you can see, they drop XP orbs when I kill them. So, um, considering I haven't found a spawner anywhere else besides uh, the nether, I can light this up now. Um, I'm going to use this as my XP farm, and I'll be able to do some enchanting. So I've got some supplies here. I'm going to make an XP farm. Let's get rid of this, because this is danger. Nobody likes danger. Except for all those people whose middle name is Danger. Hey Danger, how you doing? Anyway, so I'm going to make this into an XP farm, and, uh... Oh, you're kidding me. I didn't even look at this before, but it looks like my end portal only has one Eye of Ender in it, which means I'll have to do a lot of, uh, fighting Endermen. Come here. There we go. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to get started on this, and I'll do a little progress update once I've gotten a little bit done. And I know exactly what I'm going to be actually doing. So, be right back in just a sec. Okay, so time for a little progress update. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> They're just everywhere. They're everywhere. So, uh, I got some progress done here. Um, as you can see, I cleared out this big area here. Um, 
the end portal frame is going to cut down a little bit on our spawn rates. And um, whenever a sofa fish is on top of this thing, it'll actually suffocate, which is kind of a pain. Eh. Got him. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I put the trap doors here so that hopefully if they do spawn up here, they'll just walk right off. And there's going to be a water stream here. And they're going to go down into that little hole right there. And I'll finish that up in a sec. But first, um, over here, I... <laughs> uh, if you recall, this whole thing is underwater. You can see all the particles and everything. So I took a long time to make this little tiny house um, underwater. I drowned once trying to do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is going to be my little safe house. And this whole area is going to be walled off, and I'll have a area to go down to the uh, killing chamber um, that'll be safe from this place, you know. So I'm going to get that done. Hello. They're legit pathing to me, aren't they? Get away from me. I don't want any. I don't want any. Die. Die. <laughs> so yeah, um... I'm going to link up that nether portal up there so I can keep on going... Jeez, they're everywhere. <laughs> so I can get all of my uh, supplies going back and forth. And that should work out pretty well, hopefully. <laughs> I'm still not entirely certain. I've never built a silverfish farm before, but I'm going to give it a try. Well, everyone, I have some bad news. I've been recording for... The good part of two and a half hours, I think, just doing work and finishing up a whole bunch of stuff, and it turns out I was not recording my voice for some reason. Somehow in my recording software, the uh, record from microphone checkbox had become unchecked, and so all of my video was just the game audio, and none of the commentary was there. So, uh, I got a whole lot of stuff done <laughs> since the last cut. Um, normally I wouldn't do this, but, I mean, it's already done, and I'm not just gonna, you know, tear everything down so that I can rebuild it. So, uh, I'm just gonna show you everything I did. But first, um, before I go down there, I did record a lot of footage, and I don't want it to go to waste, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little montage because I did finish the silverfish farm. It is in working order. So I recorded myself doing a whole bunch of enchanting. So I'm going to show you a little time lapse of that. Um, and I'll show you the results of my hard labor after that's done. So here you go.
Okay, that was pretty awesome. We got a whole lot of enchantments. Um, I'll show you those in a sec, but here we are back at spawn, because I need to show you a few things I did. First of all, I did a quick update to the cow farm. Uh, you can see I boxed them in here, that's so I can breed them and the baby cows will stay in there and they'll grow up, because I needed, uh, needed to get some more cows in there, because some of them managed to escape while I was updating the cow farm. Um, I lowered the entire thing by one block so the baby cows would stop suffocating themselves in that block while they're swimming up. Um, so now they just go down there, and I had to redo the water a little bit, but it still works pretty good. Uh, so they go up like normal, so that's that. So, back to what we were talking about before this. This right here, um, is a slime chunk, or the entrance to a preliminary slime farm. Because while I was working on the silverfish farm, I found that I needed sticky pistons, but I did not have any slime balls. That's right, I built the whole thing, and right when I was about to uh, put down the sticky pistons, I realized I did not have any sticky pistons. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of sucked, but um, I came down here and started hollowing out the slime chunk, and I'm going to turn this into an actual slime farm eventually, okay? So I have it all in place, this is the full chunk right here, 16 by 16 blocks with lit up with, you know, jack-o'-lanterns, and basically what I did is I st stood way over here, down this little tunnel that I made, and I waited until slime spawned over there, and then I ran over there, and I killed them, and I got their slime balls, and I brought it back up. So, yeah, <laughs> just needed to show you guys that so that you know that there is a slime farm in the works, and we're going to get that done eventually, but... Um, that's not going to happen until a later episode. Okay, so here we are back at the Silverfish XP farm, so let's finally head down and I'll show off what I've done. Uh, as you can see, I left the Ender Portal open just a little bit so that when I finally get all the uh, Eyes of Ender I need, I can fit them all in there and then I have some room to still go in there while also closing off the, the room with the spawner. So let's head on down this water drop here. And here we go! So as you saw in the uh, time lapse there, I put my enchanting setup over here. Um, I have some book storage here, so sword books with sharpness and knockback, uh, looting, smite, all that kind of stuff goes in there, and so on and so forth for all these other ones for tools like uh, stuff like efficiency, um, bows has power and punch stuff like that. Uh, armor has protection, blast protection. Thorns, Feather Falling, Depth Strider, all kinds of stuff like that. I did a whole ton of enchanting, as you can see, by the way. There's a lot of stuff here. Multi-books, ones that have uh, two or more enchantments on them. And then other books, which is Unbreaking, and so far just for Fishing Rods. And I got a Fishing Rod enchanted with Lure and Luck of the Sea 2, which is almost perfect. It just needs one more level in Luck of the Sea, and then it'll be a perfect Fishing Rod, I think. But, yeah, that kind of works out though because um, Luck of the Sea actually lowers your chances I think of getting fish but it lowers I mean uh, heightens your chances of getting treasure so stuff like name tags and I guess uh, bottles if that counts as treasure I don't really know what all the treasure is but um, the reason I want this fishing rod is because I want to get some puffer fish so let me show you my armor enchantments so my helmet has Aqua Affinity and Respiration 3, along with Protection 4, which are the uh, underwater enchantments. And then you saw on the chest there, I also have Depth Strider 3 now on my boots. Which means that I am fully prepared to go and take out some Guardians. That's right, I fully plan to go and decimate an ocean monument. But before I do that, I need to catch, uh, catch, catch, capture... I was trying to fuse catch and capture. Anyway, I need to capture, with the fishing rod, some puffer fish, because um, puffer fish are used to make water breathing potions. And while I do have respiration on my helmet, that doesn't let me breathe underwater forever. It just makes my uh, um, bubbles run down a lot slower. So I want to get some uh, underwater uh, water breathing potions so I won't be... Uh, uh, drowning while I go down and kill the Guardians. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's the last thing I need to do, and then I can go and start uh, 
going down there and see what I can do. Take out those guardians. The elder guardians, rather. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure they won't be much of a challenge because I have all this enchantment now. Uh, yeah, for my other two, my leggings and my chest plates, just protection, projectile protection, unbreaking, usual stuff. Uh, for my tools, I now have a sharpness, knockback, looting three, unbreaking sword, which is great. Looting, great. Uh, oh, one more thing. Here I have this... Um, I've been making Splash Potions of Harming, which is really great. I'll just sit here in AFK, go, like, watch a YouTube video, or go into a Let's Play, you know, watch somebody else's Let's Play, or something like that, play another video game, and let these guys build up, and I'll sit here, and when they, uh, get, uh, what am I trying to say? When enough of them build up in here, I should say, <laughs> uh, I just sit here, I chuck my Harming Potion at them, and they will all die. Oh, I should probably go over the actual design of this thing, huh? Yeah, I forgot. I lost that footage. I went over this uh, once already, but I actually lost that footage, so I'm going to have to go over it again. Uh, this design is one that I found um, in somebody else's Let's Play. Uh, it's a little bit modified, just a little bit, because um, that one was built in 1.7. And some of the parts of that design are broken in 1.8, so I had to update it. Um, so I'll put a link in the description. I forget, um, I'm sorry, but I forget the name of the person who uh, originally did this design. So I'm sorry about that. I'll put it in the description, and I'll put a little subtitle right here uh, with the guy's name. But um, I'll put a link to the video in the description. So go ahead and look at that if you want to learn how to build this thing. Um, it is a Let's Play episode. So you might have to skip a little bit through the episode to get to the actual tutorial, but I recommend watching the whole thing because it was pretty good. So anyway, um, the main thing you take away from that is in the episode that he did, he only had this slab here, and they were getting caught perfectly fine in there. But um, in 1.8, they will actually they will get caught in there, but when there's like three or more of them in there, they'll actually push each other out and they'll come out and get you. So I just used the same trick that I used in my chicken farm to keep the, uh, you know, half block high baby chickens in there. I put a fence post here, which is technically uh, 1.5 blocks. So as far as the silverfish know, this block right here is a full block. And I have to slab up here to fill the rest of the block. But the trick is that it also allows me to smack them from in there. And then I can get the XP. So, I want to eat. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that works pretty well. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Another thing is, um, in the original video, he had... Let me get up here. He had, like, some slabby deals down here. Like, this bottom block here was a slab, and this was empty. And that was suffocating them in 1.7. No more in 1.8. So I just had to uh, replace all three of these blocks with solid blocks instead of slabs. And that works perfectly fine for me. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead back here and look at the uh, bowels of this horrible thing. So, this is a pretty simple mechanism right here. Um, it runs off of a uh, fade-out, redstone fade-out. Um, basically, I guess you would call this sort of a redstone clock, or a, a pulse extender, that's what it is. So what happens is, um, this torch turns on, and it powers this, goes down here, powers these, um, so the power goes into this block, which turns off this torch, uh, which turns off the signal, allowing it to actually uh, fade out the way it does. You can see it's slowly getting darker like that. And once the signal runs out, then uh, it stops powering this block, and the torch comes back on, so it keeps on going. Um, and this block also powers this redstone, which allows it to power this block and you know keep on going around the signal. And then back here, when it powers this block, it powers this repeater, which powers um, this one up here, which is to the top two pistons, and then uh, we move this block. Down here is another line of redstone to the bottom piston there. So uh, the timing is just right so that make sure this repeater is set to two ticks, and this repeater up here on the top is set to four ticks. Um, but hopefully you can pause the video and see enough of this so that you can build it yourself if you want to. Um, or you can just look at the Let's Play episode because he goes into full detail on the uh, tutorial on this. 
So you can just go and look at that video in the description. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, this works pretty well. One thing I do have to say is sometimes they'll be bobbing up and down the water, and they'll fall down there, and they'll take fall damage there. And a lot of times, for some reason, they'll just be jumping up and down when they're up there. And when it does that right there, they'll jump and they'll take fall damage. And sometimes they'll keep on jumping even while they're being suffocated. And then they'll see there it happened right there. He took some fall damage. And there, right there. That's the other thing I was about to say. They'll jump like maniacs. And then they'll jump up the blocks and go back up to the top. And that means that they're going to die. Because the crusher um, hits them for exactly seven ticks. Well, not seven ticks. It takes seven uh, hit points away from them, I should say. And silverfish have eight hit points, so that means uh, they're down to one hits, one hit kills for every single one of these guys, which is pretty awesome. Uh, means I don't have to use a sword, and I don't necessarily have to use a splash potion of farming either. But when there's a whole ton of them, like a lag-inducing amounts of them, because I've left this thing at AFK for like two hours, uh, they're definitely useful to have because doing this for half an hour just to kill all of them is no fun at all. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, also I forgot to show you. I have an infinity bow! Oh yeah, power 5, flame... Oh, there goes my phone. Dang it, I always forget to silence that. Uh, yeah, I'm breaking power 5, flame infinity, so I just need to get punch 2 on there and it'd be good. I do have a punch 1 book, but I want to wait until I get punch 2 so I can actually put it on there and, you know, anvils, you put it in there and the enchantment level, it goes up and up and up. Which reminds me, this belongs in here. Keep forgetting to put that there. Uh, looting is going to be good because I ran out of spider eyes <laughs> to make these uh, harming potions. Because for those of you who don't know, the uh, potion recipe for Splash Potion of Harming is nether wart, spider eye, fermented spider eye, and gunpowder to make it into a splash potion. And fermented spider eye is a from is a regular spider eye crafted together with a brown mushroom and sugar i don't know if red mushrooms work i don't know don't quote me on that but yeah so if i have 20 spider eyes that means i can only make uh 10 30 potions because uh each single recipe makes three of the three 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 <laughs> anyway i digress i digress so yeah, this thing is working pretty well. Um, I think I went over everything I wanted to say here, so I'm going to, uh, I suppose, I want to put this in a different chest, actually. I'm going to, first of all, kill all these guys, because it's a waste. They're going to despawn as soon as I leave. So anyway, as I was going to say, uh, now I think I'm going to go do some fishing, so that I can get puffer fish, and so that I can go down and take on some Elder Guardians. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll see you in a minute. Here we go, here we go, okay, come on, come on. Oh, where is it? Come on, come on. I know you want to. Here we go, okay, okay, come on. Big money, no whammy, pufferfish. Yeah! Oh, baby, we got a uh, second pufferfish. Yeah, I was trying to get two, but anyway, yeah! Finally, got a puffer fish. All right, we are all set. So now, Ocean Monument over there somewhere, we are going to take you out next episode. So you better be ready. Wh what? What the? What's going on? You have disrespected us oh, for God. the last oh, time. You should have listened, listened to our warning, warning the first, the first time. time. Now, now you're, you're gonna, gonna pay. What is that? We are the elders. We place a curse on you. A curse. A curse. What? Huh? What? What in the world? What's going on? Oh. What? Oh. What? The? How did I get here? awesome if I do say so myself. So I got some, uh, well they didn't translate that one, let's see. Good afternoon. Huh? 